and welcome. I am going to do the journal tag 10 that was made by a documented journal and then Heather Mattern. So the first question is, how long have you been journaling? And do you remember your first journal? I actually have my first journal. Let me get it out. So this journal right here is actually, I call it a diary, uh, mainly because it says <laughs> diary. Um, I wrote in it when I was super young, probably like eight and under, all the way up to 2010 where I started this journal. Um, and I've been journaling for 14 years. This journal right here is what I actually consider my first journal. This is where I was consistent. So it is... Ooh, let's try and focus. It's Chronicle Books. There we go. It's focused now. Um, I got this from my aunt probably maybe a couple years before I started writing in it. Um, I stopped writing in this one because it cramped my hands. But it lives in this little box right here where um, I keep a favorite comic strip and um, I keep my favorite... Well, what used to be my favorite pencil, and now it's just this pencil, and I don't think that that pencil has any value. <laughs> and as I said, I've been journaling for about 14 years. This September will be 14 years for me, which is pretty cool. I started consistently journaling in 2010. All right, number two. What is the purpose of journaling for you, and why do you journal? Oof. Okay. That's a tough question. <laughs> the purpose for journaling for me when I started around here, um, I think was just like to kind of have someone to talk to. I was a little bit of a lonely kid. Um, my best friend was moving away and I basically was like, well, that's 90% of my social life. <laughs> so um, I was also reading the diary of Anne Frank, which I think inspired me. Um, also kind of made, gave me this mindset that something awful would also happen to me since I started when I was 13 and she started when she was 13. Um, so I kind of wrote all of these journals thinking something awful would happen to me and that my family would want to, like, basically read them and, like, get to know me a little bit better. Um, I think I started writing in this one, I think A, mainly just to kind of like get some writing done, but maybe for memory keeping, I didn't want to forget anything. And let's see what the next question is. Okay, so still part of question two, uh, why do you journal? I journal now just to process my emotions and then also memory keep and also just because I like it. Do you keep one journal? or many is question four. I only keep one journal at a time. All of these are in chronological order. I will kind of skip in and out of journals if necessary. This is mainly um, like if it's around a holiday time and I want to be in, there's Delilah, um, and I want to be in a specific journal or just for other reasons. Um, but I typically come back to the journal that I skipped out of. Question number five is what makes a journaling system right for you and what do you need in a system? I'm going to say that in these journals up until maybe this one, um, I was trying to figure out my system. What makes a system right for me is 100% color coding things. I do have specific colors that mean specific things like purple means dreams that I had um, like sleeping. <laughs> uh, light blue means scene ideas because I'm a writer. Dark blue means story ideas, again, because I'm a writer. Red means edits that I'm working on my current manuscript. Um, let's see, green means gaming, things like that. Black, I think, is my normal go-to pen unless uh, it's like a special occasion and then typically I have to write a note. <laughs> um, and mainly because I remember specifically in this one, um, I had a dream, but it dealt with like a lot of people that I interacted with daily and it was kind of a like normal-ish dream. They were just acting out of character. I remember rereading it and being completely confused and that's when I was kind of like, hmm, maybe I should have, you know, a little system for me. 
I um, also would say that I 100% need numbers in my journals. Okay, so just as an example, this is my current journal. Um, so I have journal and then it's number and then I just give it a little name. And I recently started doing Little Guardian, so I was doing my first Pokemon playthrough because why not? I'm not going to show you because it mainly has some secrets right now, um, but in the back I do write the contents of the journal, like what I did, important things, like uh, all these tabs. Um, I'll write all that in it. All right, so number six, do you have a favorite notebook or pen when it comes to journaling? So while I answer that, I'll just kind of give you a little slide view of all the journals. Um, once you hit like a bookshelf stopper, what are they called? Oh, a bookend. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So once you hit a bookend, uh, that's where my used journals stop. These are all used journals. And then my um, unused journals begin. I would say that I don't have a particular notebook or anything that I like to use. Um, I certainly do have like some brands that I buy repeatedly, but I don't know if they're like my favorite. Um, and then just for pens, I typically just use whatever I have. So I don't think I particularly have like a favorite for that. And also it really depends on the journal's paper, um, whether or not, you know, it bleeds through and all that other stuff. So, yeah, I don't really have an answer for that one. <laughs> okay, I guess I could say that I prefer blank paper, though very few of my journals are actually blank paper journals. Um, or I guess like dotted grid for right now. I really only had this one and this one be dotted grid. And I think it's just because it inspires more creativity for me. I don't know why. Like, I could do the exact same things in line journals. They just don't inspire it. All right, so sorry for the wonky camera view. <laughs> Number seven, what would you describe your journaling style? Okay, I found a page that was safe. This is kind of my style. I think it's just very straightforward um, time. This is how I notify myself that I'm starting and finishing books. This is uh, pink, which is me talking about the books. Uh, purple, which is a dream that I was talking about on the other side, and then um, black for normal. I guess I would just describe it as Unitarian. Um, I do have creative pages, uh, like this one, where I will kind of decorate it a little bit more. But again, it kind of depends on how busy I am with life. Um, my journals, like I said, are more for memory keeping and exploring my thoughts and emotions and ideas more so than like a creative outlet, but I do enjoy the creative outlet side of it. Now we're going to look at the unused journals. Um, all right. So number eight, who slash where do you get your journaling inspiration from? I'm going to just say like everywhere. <laughs> um, I, if I see like a quote that I like, then I'll write it down in my journal. But, um, YouTubers, TikTokers, and even a few Instagrammers, um, I've really enjoyed those. The ones that really come to mind is, um, so YouTubers, Carrie Walker, Overall Ventures, Just Celia, and Valerie, I think is her name. Um, they kind of inspired me to try different, like, journaling techniques. Um, I'm kind of ashamed to say that I don't really remember any of the TikTokers' names. I'll have to, like, link them down below. Okay, so number nine, what does your journaling routine look like? And how often do you journal? My journaling routine, I would have to describe as a grazer. Um, I mean, like, I'm on my 126th journal in over 14 years. I don't know if that's, like, good or not, but, like, that's... That's a pretty decent size of or amount of journals. Um, so, like, I journal often. I journal almost every day. I don't stick to that rule. Like, I don't force myself to journal every day. Um, I know some journalers are very much like that. Like, there's some years where I write, like, 19 journals, like, last year. Starting here all the way over. 19 journals. Um, 
there's some on the other shelf as well, <laughs> if you're actually counting. Um, but then, like, other years where it's just, like, this red one, this blue one, and that purple one right there, that's one whole year. Um, I didn't write a lot <laughs> in those journals. Um, I don't force myself to do it. I just try and do it naturally. But I am a grazer. I do take my journal wherever I go. I don't leave it at home anymore. I used to, uh, like in high school and stuff. I was too embarrassed to like bring it to school. Uh, and I believe in college I started bringing it to school because I had some time in between classes. And I bring it to work now. <laughs> um, so I kind of just like journal whenever I can throughout the day. Um, mornings I try and do my dreams. And then um, nights I try and do like my day if I haven't discussed all my day throughout um, the day. <laughs> all right, so number 10, your tip for a beginner who wants to get into journaling. So I did get this question over on my TikTok. It's under the same username as this one, uh, that cat who'd be writing, cat spelled with a K, if you want to go see what I'm up to there. Um, and I'm just going to say, like, talk to it like it's your best friend. That's kind of what I started. Because like I said, when I started this journal, I already knew that my best friend was going to move away. <laughs> and I was a lonely kid. So I just started talking to it like it was my best friend. And then also like how Anne Frank spoke to Kitty, uh, her diary, in the diary of Anne Frank. And yeah, voila. Um, that's kind of why I'm a little bit cautious to show the pages. I don't just go into my drama. I go into other people's drama. <laughs> um, like, you know, the hot gossip and tea that I hear. And that's kind of like the advice that I also gave on my TikTok, if I remember. It was, it was about a year ago, so I'm not 100% sure all the advice I gave. But the advice I'm giving now is uh, talk to it like it's your best friend. Um, or your therapist, depending on, or both, depending on what you want to use it for. Um, and, and I'd say if you can carry it wherever you go, it might mean that you want like some smaller journals like that. Um, there are like pocket size journals and those work out really well for people. Just so then whenever you have like inspiration to write, then you can sit down and write. Also, if you're like, oh, all these physical journals are a lot for me. Like, I can't afford two bookshelves of journals, which is fine. That's completely normal. Then there's also, like, journaling apps, and you can have your phone, things like that. So I would just kind of say, carry it wherever you go. Talk to it like it's your best friend or therapist or both. Uh, tell it everything. The hot gossip, your hopes, your dreams, your dreams while you're sleeping, what's going on at work, what are the Joneses doing? <laughs> also, I'd say try not to be ashamed while you're writing. Try and give yourself that grace. Um, I find a lot of people are like, oh, I can't even write about that. That's so embarrassing. Give yourself some grace. I think that's a really great practice to try and have. And um, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm perfect because I 100% am not. <laughs> But yeah, just try and give yourself some grace while you're talking to this journal. The journal will not judge you. The judgment you feel is, is by yourself. And then ask yourself, why am I judging myself for this particular thing? So that's like the tips that I give typically to beginners. Um, I hope you like them. And that is all. So we hit number 10. This is what my current journal looks like, if anyone is wondering. But that is all. I hope that you enjoyed this tag. And there is a playlist of other people um, doing this tag, so please go watch their videos. Thank you so much for watching mine. And remember to always find an excuse to write.